This is Rick from OptoSigma with another Lightspeed product guide. In this guide, I'm going to cover some quick points to consider in selecting an optical table. An optical table provides three main functions. The first is it provides a stable work surface for your experiment. Additionally, though, it is supposed to minimize floor vibrations from affecting the experiment, and that's called isolation. Finally, for any vibrations that reach the experiment, it will damp them out as quickly as possible, and that's vibration damping. Now, when selecting an optical table, there are several key points to consider. The first is the table size and height. The table you select must have enough length and width to accommodate the beam path you have and also the equipment on your table. The most commonly used sizes are 4x6 and 4x8. For height, you'll want to select one that's comfortable for the experimenters in your lab. Our standard height is three feet, but it can be customized to be higher or lower. You'll also need to consider load capacity. Normally, load capacity is not an issue, but if you're planning on using heavy items like additional breadboards or large lasers, you should run the numbers to make sure you're within the limits. The load capacity, for example, for a four by eight table is 700 pounds. And for a four by six table, it's 400 pounds. The next point to consider is thread type for your optical table. You have the choice of metric or imperial. If you select metric, you'll get M6 on 25 millimeter spacing, or if you pick imperial, you get quarter 20 on one inch spacing. The choice is really based on what type of components your lab already has. If your lab has mostly metric components, then you should stick with a metric table. And the same is true for an imperial table. The next and final selection criteria is the type of isolation. There are two choices here, either pneumatic or rigid. Now, pneumatic tables provide the best vibration isolation. However, they have lower load capacities, typically by 30 to 40%. One other point to consider is that an air compressor or air source is required to float your pneumatic table. Now, pneumatic tables are more expensive than their rigid counterparts, but the additional cost is usually not that much more. Typically, it's only 20%. You'll typically want to get a pneumatic table for more demanding applications, such as interferometry, holography, or high resolution microscopy. For less demanding applications, a table with rigid supports is the right way to go. They typically have higher load capacities, they don't need any air compressor or air supply to run, and they are lower cost. And so these are the key points to consider when buying your optical table. Now, if you're considering your table purchase with OptoSigma, please keep in mind, we keep our popular size tables in stock for quick delivery. Also, we have competitive prices on all our tables. We can customize an optical table to your exact specifications. And the best for last, we include rolling casters on all our tables. Thanks very much for listening and talk to you soon.